Hey there and greetings friends. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Alicia and today I'm sharing with you a new kids school lunchbox ideas video. And I wanted to start this off by sharing with you guys some new supplies that I picked up for my kids lunchboxes. Those thermoses right there. I got two of those because it's going to be cold pretty soon here. So I wanted to start making some more warm lunches and also to be able to include some leftover dinners into their lunches, especially dinners that they really enjoy. So I bought those I also bought some new compartments and some new lunch boxes and I'm gonna link everything that I am using in today's video down below for you guys so getting into our very first lunch box idea I'm gonna be including some homemade hamburger helper into their lunches this is a great dinner which makes a lot but it makes for even better leftovers the next day so that is what I'm gonna be putting into those thermoses and you see me pouring in some boiling water and then closing up those thermoses to help keep it warm um, while I continue need to make the rest of the lunch. So for their vegetables, I'm including some sliced cucumbers and some carrots. I'm also going to throw in some mandarin oranges. Now guys, these are brand new for me, these four um, compartments. Now I'm noticing they are the exact same size as the three compartments that I normally use here on my channel. So the serving size is not going to be any bigger or any smaller, which is great because I think these portion control sizes are the perfect amounts for my kids, which by the way, they are 11, 7, and 3. And another thing I'm enjoying about these compartments is that I don't need to use my silicone liners for these lunch boxes because there's already the separation between all four compartments, which is wonderful. So nothing is going to be touching each other. What I am also including is some Doritos, and then I'm including these homemade brownies. So usually I make the brownies to fit my rectangle um, silicone liners, but because they're not going to fit in these square compartments, I'm just going to break them in half. And guys, I'm going to link these lunchbox brownies down below. They are so great. These are already baked and then I just ended up wrapping them and freezing them. These are actually somewhat frozen right now. I pulled them out of the freezer. They are going to be defrosted by the time my kids sit down for lunch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty out these thermoses, but I'm not going to waste all that water because it's actually like two to three cups of water that these are holding. So I'm just going to let that water um, cool down and probably like feed it either to my dog or my water my plants or something, but I'm definitely not going to waste that water. So here is the hamburger helper that I warmed up in the microwave and I'm just going to portion that out in between the two thermoses. You guys, these thermoses are the cutest thing ever. So inside that lid is a hidden spoon. On the outside of the thermos, there's like a little snap button that you just press in and it releases the top of the lid, but there's a little like foldable spoon inside, which is so cute, great for soups and stuff. They're not gonna be needing that today. They're just gonna be using some forks I'm including in their lunchbox, but I love that they include that in the thermos. So cute. Again, everything will be linked down below. Moving into our second lunchbox idea, we are reusing those thermoses again today for some air fryer pizza rolls. Now, I've never actually bought these before. I'm pretty sure I've never bought these, but I wanted to give these guys a try and try them in my air fryer. I have been loving using my air fryer for my kids' lunches. I think my air fryer now has a permanent spot on my countertops and saying that is quite a lot because I don't really have much room. So I am just enjoying it. I love using it for reheating waffles, french toast, chicken strips, fries, like salmon, everything. I've been using it probably daily, not just for my kids, but for myself as well. So if you do not have one, get one, ask for it for Christmas, for your birthday, Mother's Day, but I promise guys, it's a great investment. 
while my pizza rolls are being air fried, I'm gonna continue on making the rest of their lunches. So I'm including some sugar snap peas, sliced cucumbers, some chips that actually my husband picked out from a Walmart pickup order, some strawberries, some more mandarin oranges, and then some Biscoff cookies I got from my latest Costco haul. They were on sale, which is a great purchase in my opinion. And then I'm going to dump out the water and I'm going to dry off the thermoses because I don't want their, their pizza rolls to be super soggy or get wet or anything. So just a quick dry and then I am portioning out the pizza rolls. So if you are new to my channel, I just wanted to introduce myself. So my name is Alicia. We are a family of five. I have three kids, 11, seven, and three. I've been married to my husband for 17 years already. And on my channel, you can find a lot of other lunchbox ideas, a lot of grocery hauls, cooking videos, some travel stuff. So guys, I really hope that you subscribe and stick around for future videos. I would love to get to know you. So please leave me a comment down below and introduce yourself. I am so glad that you are here. And going into our last lunchbox idea, we are putting away the thermoses, pulling out those three compartment lunchboxes, and I am making some toasted Nutella, banana, and jam sandwiches. So I am going to be using that air fryer again. And guys, this turned out to be a major, major winner. So before we start moving into making that sandwich, I'm going to start just getting the rest of their lunch ready by incorporating in some more cucumbers and carrots, some tortilla chips, these little chocolate teddy grams that I actually picked up for my daughter. She really wanted them and she was sick and I felt bad that day, so I got them for her. I'm also gonna be including some sliced apples. So in order to keep these apples from turning brown, I'm going to be soaking them in a salt water solution for only five minutes. So basically the entire time that I'm gonna be frying up the sandwiches and you don't need much you just need maybe about a half a teaspoon for about four cups of water just let them soak and then you're going to give them a good rinse once they've done they're done soaking and just dry them out a little bit um, before incorporating them into your lunchbox so for these sandwiches we're going to do a light spread of nutella and then we're going to place some jam on the other side of the bread and then we're going to include some sliced bananas now i'm only doing about five slices per sandwich but do as many as you want and then you're going to lightly butter the outside of both sides of the sandwiches now you're not going to need that much butter it's going to be like a teaspoon per sandwich so really not much but just enough so that it toasts up nicely in the air fryer Look at how beautifully toasted these sandwiches are. So I toasted these at 400 degrees for four minutes and I did flip them, but imagine a grilled cheese sandwich in here too. Oh my gosh, so, so easy guys. So delicious, super yummy looking. I'm really glad that my kids like this and hopefully your kids enjoy it too. And friends, that is it for this lunchbox videos idea. What did you guys think? Do you think your kids would enjoy any of these? Or maybe you would enjoy one of these ideas for lunch? Let me know, leave me a comment. Thank you guys again so much for being here, watching these videos and just hanging out with me. I really appreciate your support and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye friends.